Good day, and welcome to another episode of Masonic Curious. Today's episode, we're going to talk about a couple of Knight Temple of items that are on loan to the Masonic Curious. Uh, recently, John and I took a little road trip to New Hampshire, and we visited an old Masonic building that was built in 1910. And hopefully, we'll be able to get back there to do some taping. But while there, the brother was kind enough to show us around the building and took us up to the old armory. And lo and behold, there is a lot of stuff in the old armory. But you may remember the episode that I spoke about the Knight Templar Skull and Bone Triangular Apron, one of the most sought after aprons uh, that Masons love to get and have in their collection. But in order for me to talk about this, if you haven't seen the episode number 88, that's 088 Masonic Curators, go back when we were at Newtonville and watch that episode. Because in that episode, I talked about the six variations of the Knight Templar triangular apron that I have seen that I know that exist. And one of them was this one. And that's the one with the 12 stars that around the skull and bones, and they represent the 12 positions on the altar of a Knight Temple altar. But this is now variation number seven, because on the flap, you will see three stars on the flap. I have never seen one of these aprons before. Now, what the three stars indicate on the top of the flap, I am not sure, but <clears throat> They do form a triangle, within a triangle, within a triangle. And those who are Royal Arch Masons will recognize the three times three. Or they could represent the three ancient grandmasters of the craft. Not sure, but that doesn't really concern me as much as where this apron came from. Now, the commandery that is at this building, uh, where the skull and bones, or wore the skull and bones apron, and in that collection, and that was a table that we found with a stack of aprons about this high. Uh, we did find the hard to find gold apron with the gold fringe and the silver apron with the silver fringe. And also in the pile, along with all these other skull and bones aprons, were just a handful of these. Now, looking at some of the photograph evidence that they have, we do know that the commandery wore the plain skull and bone aprons but none of the members wore this apron with the stars. We are unsure where these came from, but we do also know that now that another commandery had merged with that particular commandery, and we're trying to get photographic evidence of that commandery uh, to determine, was this the apron that that commandery wore, or was it just a apron that certain officers wore to indicate their rank? Hopefully, we will know very soon about this particular apron. The other item we have that we got on display is this suitcase. Now, if you are a Knight Templar, you purchase your own equipment, and instead of throwing it into a brown paper bag and carry it all around with you, <clears throat> you could buy one of these. Because if you didn't keep your uniform and regalia at the Masonic Lodge, you could take it home with you because it was yours. The Regalia Company sold a number of these. I call these the Chubbies. Uh, they also had a flat one that looked like a regular suitcase, and then they had the Chapeau style carry case uh, that you could purchase. Now the Chubbies, I think, came out around the 18, late 1860s, 1870s. Uh, I've seen a number of these in a number of Masonic buildings. Um, they were a leather case, sort of like the old-fashioned overnight cases that some of the ladies would carry around with them. Uh, it is big enough that if you open it, and if I don't break it, because it is on loan, inside are several compartments, and they're usually done with a textured, heavy cardstock material that's either glued in or in some cases riveted to the inside of the case, and they could hold your Know, the belt, and maybe over here you roll up a baldric. In this case, there is a chapeau. And here, 
is another heavy cardstock piece that's usually mounted, in this case, with hooks. I've seen thumb turns with straps and I've also seen buttons. In many cases, the older ones, they actually have a beautiful piece of paper that's glued to the inside. Uh, some of them will say, uh, will say MC Lilly and Company, uh, sort of like an advertisement. I've seen the AIM Sword Company building on some of these prints, and I've seen a number of landscapes uh, that are on some of these labels on the inside. But if you take down the top of the insert here, there's more storage, and you can put your fatigue cap. If you want to, you can pull out your ball trick, your gloves, uh, and whatnot that you needed to carry in this. So these items were on loan. They are not the property of uh, Masonic uh, curators. Uh, and we want to thank very much Palestine Community for the loan of these two items to do this episode. So with that, remember, give us the likes up. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, pass the word uh, that we're doing these videos to your friends and brothers so they can watch as well. Um, if you like some of the stuff, guys, it's out there. It's on eBay, it's on various other uh, auction sites. So find what you can. And that's about it for now. Thank you for watching.